This is no standard paint shop. It's the biggest car paint shop in Europe. Spread out over eight floors and covering an area the size of Grand Central Station. And still, every car is completed specifically to an individual customer's requirements. There are more than 18 kilometers of conveyor inside the paint shop, and 360 cars come through here every hour. And like other bits of the factory, all the work here is being done by robots. But look, even they have to wear overalls in here as well. That's the most amazing thing is, not every car that comes through is the same color. So you might have a blue car followed by a white one, not a problem. They can change color instantly. And they do that by having nozzles and hoses for each color that rotate at the head of the robot, like the revolver on a revolver. Ensuring that the paint is applied efficiently and evenly requires some very clever science. It's all to do with static electricity, giving a positive and negative charge to the car bodies and the paint so they are attracted to one another. As I shall now demonstrate using this Van de Graaff generator, this box of polystyrene balls, and my hand. Imagine my hand is the car body, the balls are the paint. Put the body in the paint and not a lot happens really. We're in balance. What I need to do now is give myself a positive charge. I put my hand on there before I switch it on, I'm told that's very important. I'm standing on a mat to insulate myself, so I'm going to turn it on. I can feel the hairs on my hand standing up, probably on my head as well, as I'm taking on <laughs> a positive charge. Now, by contrast, the polystyrene balls have a slight negative charge, so that means they should be attracted to my hand. So, plunge car body into paint. Whoa! <laughs> you can see immediately they're going berserk. They're sticking to me like mad. And actually, the reason they're pinging off is that they're actually repelling each other. And eventually, it's smoothing down until it's just one layer thick. That's how they use electricity, to get an even layer of paint. Here in the paint shop, the same principle is used on a supersized scale. First, the cars are dipped in a bath with a high voltage running through it to give them a positive charge. Then they apply an opposite voltage across the painting nozzles to give the paint a negative charge. This means every paint particle is attracted to the metal of the car. The problem now is I'm, I'm filled with electricity and I've got to get rid of it. So let's get rid of these polystyrene balls first, best I can. I can't just let go of the machine because I'll get a zap. Right, apparently if I touch that wooden stick, that earths me. I think I can now turn the machine off without getting zapped. <laughs> I so can't. I can't turn it off. Help. <laughs> 